Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be checking out GoodRAM's IRDM Pro Deep Black Memory Modules. So if you've never heard of GoodRAM, neither had I until they reached out and asked if I wanted to check out their latest memory kit. So they're a company based in Poland and although they're new to me and they may well be new to you, they've actually been in production for 30 years this year. So they're not a new company and they've quite a bit of experience behind them. You're probably also wondering about the IRDM and this is their high-end lineup aimed mainly at professionals and gamers. So the kit they've sent me is a 16 gigabyte kit so we've got two 8 gigabyte sticks at 3600 megahertz and the first thing I want to point out about this kit is the price. It's currently selling on Amazon UK today for only £83 and for a 16 gigabyte kit at 3600 megahertz that's a pretty good price. The memory modules feature an 8-layer black PCB and are very low profile. In fact, it's one of the lowest profile memory modules I've used and I measured it at only 33mm in height. So GoodRAM have gone with a very minimalistic all black design for this RAM kit. You've got their logo in the middle and then over to the right hand side you've got some text saying IRDM Pro by GoodRAM. So this particular kit is also available in a 32GB option, so that's two 16GB sticks also at 3600 megahertz. It's also available in three color options. So we've got the deep black, which I have here. There's also a pitch black, which has gold accents and a hollow white, as the name suggests, is a white kit. For your peace of mind, GoodRAM tests every memory module and the kit comes with a lifetime warranty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed in the system behind me and then we'll check out the performance. That's the memory modules installed in the system and two things I want to point out. The first is just how low profile it is. So I have actually removed the front fan from my Noctia NHD15 and that's really just to let you see the memory modules but you would have absolutely no problem mounting the fan over the top of the memory modules. The second thing I wanted to point out was the gap in the heatsink in the middle is really the only thing I'm not so keen about the look of these memory modules. And I think this would definitely have looked better if it was all black. Okay, so heading over to our BIOS, it has recognized our memory. We've got 16 gigabytes of dual channel memory. And I always head over to the OC tweaker, click on our DRAM configuration. And we can see we have got an XMP profile, which I'm gonna go ahead and enable. So we'll select profile one. And I've just gone ahead and loaded up the memory tab in Task Manager and we can see our RAM is running at 3600 megahertz. What I'm going to do now is check out the performance and I'm going to compare it against another 16 gigabyte 3600 megahertz kit, which is the Kingston Fury Beast kit, which I've used in a number of my recent builds and been really impressed both with the looks and the performance. So taking a look at the benchmarks, the first benchmark I looked at was Cinebench R23, where our Kingston Fury outperformed the good RAM kit by 0.4%. In Unigen Heaven 1080p high settings, we had 1.1% more frames per second with the Kingston Fury kit. Finally, in the IDA64 memory bandwidth test, again, the Kingston Fury kit was the winner by a small margin of 0.25 to 0.43%. So I think the benchmarks for this memory kit are really encouraging. They're within 1% of one of the market leaders. And particularly when you look at the price of this RAM kit, you're getting incredibly good value for money. So if you are in the market for a new RAM kit, check out this one. You'll find a link to it in the description if you want to find out more. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.